All right, so I just made a video going over what happens if we side with Knight Shin at the end of the Brotherhood of Steel questline that we got from the Steel Rain DLC in Fallout 76. I actually went over two ending options siding with Knight Shin. I killed Romani and I let her live and run off just to show what happened with both scenarios. If you're interested in that video where I side with Knight Shin and want to check it out, feel free to check the description. I'll have a link to it there. It'll also pop up on the screen at the end of this video too. So yeah, if you reach the end and want to see what happens, just click the video that pops up on the screen. In this video I'm going to be doing the exact opposite and showing what happens when we side with Paladin Romani instead of Night Shin. I figured you guys would like to see different outcomes in case you may be having a tough time deciding on which one to go with or you just may be genuinely curious on what all exactly happens in the set like I am. <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and talk to Dr. Far out here. You've arrived. Please hear me out. We are scientists. Our work is all we have to give to this broken world. We had truly hoped to give humanity a better way to fight back. Against the radiation, the mutants, the decay of civilization. We failed. But this doesn't have to be the end. There is so much good that we can still do, please. Spare us your wrath. Why does it sound like you're giving up? We weren't that far off, just a tweak here or there. Uh, if I may interrupt. I agree with everything Dr. Farha has to say. Uh, despite how it looks, we are not evil people. We wish only to better humankind. Uh, knowing that, what are your intentions with us? Okay, so we're going to choose a dialogue option. I'm on your side. Science is the way forward. I'm glad you see the truth of the matter. I'm afraid that's not going to cut it. The Brotherhood exists to keep humanity safe. And your work endangered everyone in Appalachia. If that failed virus had gotten out, countless people could have died. We can't allow you to continue experimenting. Wait, Shin. It's clear that we can't just let them go. But their knowledge could be valuable to the Brotherhood and the people of Appalachia. Blackburn was the ringleader, but he's gone. We know nothing about the others. And of all people, you and I shouldn't fault anyone for trying to make a difference. I can. And I will. Is this still about back then? You can't forgive yourself for your own mistakes, so you refuse to forgive others too. When will you put that behind you? This has nothing to do with that. There will be no more experiments. And they're too dangerous to keep prisoner. Wait, you're really going to kill us? Hold on. We're not killing anybody. We will bring them back to Fort Atlas and have Scribe Valdez monitor their work. Have you lost your mind? Think about it. This is exactly why the Brotherhood exists. To safeguard technology. I hate to admit it, but the Elders are right on this. We can't let them go, but we can't destroy what knowledge they have either. A wise compromise. I'm willing to cooperate. You, the angry one. Consider the fact that universities are no longer operating. In a generation or two, there will be few, if any, people left in the world with a formal education. How many dozens have you killed? Do you really think your life is worth more than theirs because of your education? We don't need your knowledge if you're deranged enough to resort to human experimentation. Uh, please, stop this. Uh, let us stop for a moment and talk to each other. Uh, there's still much that we haven't told you about our work. And we uh, know little about your brotherhood. Perhaps we can find out more where our perspectives overlap. Yes. Maybe some discussion will cool Shin's head. I have no desire for this to come to blows. Very well. You haven't said anything yet? Surely you have an opinion on this matter? Okay, so this time we're going to choose, there may be value to letting you work with the Brotherhood. Scribe Valdez was appalled to find out that people were being turned into super mutants. You'd really like to burden her with supervising the social paths we're behind it? Don't be so quick to jump to conclusions. As Dr. Jane said, there is more to our story, if you'd be willing to hear it. Let's pause and open the floor for conversation, shall we? Make it quick, Initiate. Shouldn't take long to see through their lies. 
Okay, so to save time, I'm not going to be checking what everyone has to say. I'm just going to be jumping straight into this and proceeding with a decision when we talk to Dr. Farah here. As you can see, we'll get this dialogue option saying, I think we are ready to proceed with the decision. Let's go ahead and choose that. And what has your organization decided? So now in this video, this time, we're going to be going with this dialogue option that says, Powden Romani is right. You should come to Fort Atlas and work under our supervision. <sighs> That's a relief. I assure you that you'll have our cooperation. So that's it then. You and Romani would repeat the mistakes of the past and use these criminals to build more weapons of destruction. To send the world further down the path of chaos for your own gain. All while wearing the Brotherhood insignia on your chest. The Brotherhood's mission has always been to use the power of science to guide us to a better world. Rather than murder great minds, we will shape them into people who will serve that mission. And we will do it without barbarians like you. On that point, we agree. I refuse to serve an illegitimate branch of a principled institution. The elders need to know about our failures. All of them. It will be my honor to give that report in person. Yikes. Things are heating up. It's getting spicy here. So as you can see now, we have quite a bit of dialogue options that we could choose from. We could choose the attack option and say, I can't allow you to do that. Uh, we can say, you are really going to travel all the way back to California by yourself. We can also say, you don't have to do this. Or we can just say, smell you later, Shen. Hope you get eaten by a death claw on the way there. So all those options seem to be to let him live and just run off. And the one that stands out is attacking him and not letting him run off. Just like how Powd and Romani's dialogue options were set up at this point. One of them, we were able to attack her, and the other three choices were basically letting her live and run off. So let's go with the odd one out here and see what happens afterwards. The elders won't stop us, Shin. Neither will you. So it comes to this. Ad Victorium. Eyes on target. Look alive. I'm hit. Taking mm. uh, heavy fire here. I've been hit. Cover. They're actually pretty evenly matched. That's pretty cool. But they actually just sit there and fight each other. Battle only ends one way. I've been hit. Anyways, let's just end this and see what happens. I'm hit. I'm hit. Clear. Good fighting. All right, so it seems like he has seven fusion cells on him and an automatic laser rifle. So if you were curious about maybe he would have something good on him if you did take him out or something. He does not. I don't know if this is randomized loot or set in stone loot. Either way, you don't get anything special from looting them. Anyways, now let's see what Paladin Romani has to say about this whole scenario taking place. Shin. I... I'm sorry. We are grateful. The work we do next could still change the world. You go on ahead. I'll bring the scientists back to Fort Atlas, then... We can discuss everything that's happened. Friends, initiates, faces new and old, I'm glad to see you today. But I'm afraid the occasion is somber. First, I'll start with the assurance that the mutant threat has been cornered and removed. But it was not without sacrifice. Night Shin is no longer with us. I will be frank about what happened. Following a disagreement on how we should proceed with the mission, Shin opened fire on me. I was forced to ensure that the values and unity of our Brotherhood would live on. It came at a great cost. While we had our differences, I still had respect for his loyalty. However misplaced it may have been, one of my greatest regrets will be my failure to get him to see things from my perspective. One more announcement to make. I'd like to recognize a particular initiate's exceptional contributions to our chapter. In most cases, this recognition would take the form of a standard rank increase. However, being a knight is a dedicated responsibility, and it's become quite clear to me that this initiate has obligations beyond just the Brotherhood of Steel. I won't take you away from Appalachia. As such, I'm granting you the unique title of Knight Errant. 
Why don't you come stand between Scribe Valdez and I, so I may officially confer your title? For exceptional contributions to the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel, I hereby name you Knight Errant. You may split your time with the Brotherhood as you see fit. We are forever grateful for what you've done for us. Now everyone, feel free to take a short break before your next assignment. You've earned it. Wow, she literally said one of her greatest regrets will be her failure to get him to see things from her perspective. Sheesh. Yeah, Nightshin's speech was totally different. Um, I highly recommend to check it out if you haven't and if you are curious, but you know, that was to be expected. I definitely expected them to have different kind of speeches. Their demeanors are totally different. I also noticed the scientists are inside Fort Atlas now, as you can see, they're up there. I'll go ahead and check out what they have to say after I do these optional choices and speak to Powder and Romani. So, yeah, let's first off talk to Russell back here. Nightshin. Oh, did I'm that sorry. really just happen? I knew things between the higher ups were shaky, but to come to blows, real actual bullets? It must have been way worse than I thought. Well, I guess things are going to change a bit around here. Huh, that's actually what he said when we took out Pallet and Romani in the previous video when I showed what happened when we sided with Night Shen. Anyways, let's go ahead and choose this dialogue option where we say it's for the better. Pallet and Romani has a beautiful vision for the Brotherhood. Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. Look forward to it, even. Whatever reorganization we need to do, I'm sure it'll shake out into something even better than what we've got right now. Paladin Romani is the leader I want to follow. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. See you around, Knight Aaron. Hmm. He actually said Paladin Romani is the leader I want to follow. He did not say that about Knight Shen. Here's what he said for that choice when we sided with Knight Shen. Yeah, I know we will. And it's only right for a military organization. Following protocol. Getting back in contact with the Elders. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried about losing our spark. You know, Paladin Romani's commitment to helping people. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. See you around, Knight Aaron. So that's pretty interesting to you know. It seems he favors Romani. Anyways, let's see what Houston has to say. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What, what are we going to do? Who's going to handle everything? Who's going to lead the recruits? What am I going to do? Oh gosh. Alright, so she said the same thing last time when we sided with Night Shin. But since I chose the deep reds and what's the matter dialogue options in that video siding with him, this time around I'm going to actually choose the bottom dialogue option just to see what she says over that. It says, yep, everything's falling apart, baby. It's going to be great. Not helping. Definitely not helping. I don't do well with really big changes. Like, for example, my boss dying. I think I'm just... I think... I need some time to process this. I'm gonna sit down. We owe this victory to you, Knight Errant. Hmm, she gave me a longer response than I was expecting. It's actually the longest response I got from her. Anyways, now let's go ahead and talk to Scribe Valdez. So, Night Shin is gone. I can't believe it. I wanted to be optimistic about their conflict, right up until the end. But the more I think about it, the more I feel like maybe this was inevitable. If only there was more I could have done. It is. But at least you and I are still here. Through everything we made it. That's something we can be grateful for. So don't be a stranger. You have the freedom to go anywhere. But remember, you're a part of our brotherhood now. You'll always have a home here. Nothing That's too different time. there besides that dialogue option where it stated that we don't have Shen killing the mood. But I didn't choose that one. Oh well, either way. Now let's go ahead and see what Powder Romani has to say. So, Knight Errant, how does your new title feel? So we can either say like a freshly polished pair of shoes, exquisite, like a bit of a consolation prize. Does this mean I can never become a knight or paladin? I'm actually curious about that. Anyways, the next dialogue option says, Awful, I was hoping to be free of the Brotherhood after this. And lastly, we can flirt. It feels like you've really noticed me. Is that right, Layla? <laughs> What the heck? Okay, uh, 
Let's go with the one where it says, does this mean I can never become a knight or paladin? Not currently, no. But seeing as there's never been a knight errant before, there aren't exactly any established rules for knight errants either. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. So let's go ahead and see what she has to say with all these dialogue options now. Now, we can start making the Brotherhood the benevolent organization I always wanted it to be. Our focus has to be helping the people of Appalachia. Reaching out a hand and making them feel safe. This is a new dawn. Be proud that you were a part of it. I'm... mournful. I truly hoped that Shin would never make me, but what happened was necessary. Even now, I would do it again if I had to. Take your time. You're a topic of celebration today. I'm sure they want to talk to you as well. Don't be a stranger. There will always be a place for you at Fort Atlas. At Victorium. Alright, so that's what all she had to say about everything, and it seemed like we got the same unique reward as we did siding with Knight Shin, which is the Hellcat Power Armor. So if you're wondering if you're going to miss out on a unique reward by choosing a specific side, well, you don't have to worry about that. Now let's go ahead and listen into what the scientists have to say up here, since we spared them by taking Paladin Romani's side. Scribe Valdez is an excellent supervisor. I have every confidence our work will proceed smoothly. Nothing to see here, except the coolest science you've ever seen. Thank you for sparing us. The Brotherhood's mercy will not go to waste. Alright, so yeah, there you have it everyone. This is the outcome over siding with Paladin Romani in the end of the Brotherhood of Steel questline. In case some of you may have been curious about this, I know I genuinely was. Also, something else that I was kind of curious about, I wonder if we could ever cross paths with them again when they run off and live. Since there were so many dialogue options to let them go and do that, and there was only one dialogue option to attack them and, you know, take them out, it makes me wonder if we're able to encounter them ever, or if we're ever going to be able to encounter them again. I don't know, just something else that I'm genuinely curious about. But yeah, I guess that's a wrapping up this video, everybody. Hope you found it enjoyable. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.